want to change the world for the better, the more we understand about our own happiness. In today's disintegrated society, there are extraordinary people who continue to show goodwill and compassion to those who are less fortunate. The inner peace drives them to undertake enormous responsibilities. Their goal is to give their underprivileged opportunities to make a life. In East Africa, there are over 800 little sisters of St. Francis of Assisi. In Kenya, they are 300. The little sisters of St. Francis have employed a more holistic approach beyond their spiritual vocation in the footsteps of St. Francis. By encountering ordinary people and promoting a life based on human relationship, they foster this dynamic of reaching out to the world and participating in the everyday life of ordinary people. St. Anthony's convent in Nakuru County is home to Sister Vicky and Sister Stella. They recognize that the wounds and sickness of the physical body account for only one part of the problem, but the sweetness of the soul is revitalizing. Those destitute in our society have survived at the very edge of the human condition, presenting a formidable task for the little sisters of St. Francis. These are the remarkable stories of Sister Vicky and Sister Stella. My journey as a Catholic sister has been a good one. It has its good moments and it has its low moments. Sometimes you want to serve or to help children, especially in the school setup, and it's, you are not in a position to do that because sometimes you want to give more, but maybe at some point you are limited. Sometimes as a sister, I've realized that people expect much from me as a person, as a sister. But all in all, I would say that most of my journey as a sister has been our journey full of fulfillment and happiness. It has been my dream since I was a young girl that I always wanted to be a teacher, to mold the young one, especially in the primary school, to mold them to become good people in the future. And when I, the sisters gave me an opportunity to go to school and to become a teacher, that was a dream come true and of course a prayer answered. Parents have also found a lot of trust in me such that they are able to share even part of their lives with me. They are able to share, the pupils are able to share part of what their challenges are in the family. And in that way, I've been able, in my little ways also, to assist the parents or the families where possible. Every time I'm waking up to come to school, I'm always motivated that I'm coming to meet the young ones. And because children are very innocent, it has been so nice for me. I've always loved dealing with them. Because they will tell me everything. They will always open themselves to me. Go to chapter 4 of the book of Kings. From verse from verse 8, the six years I've been here in this school, most of the children have not looked at me as an administrator, but they have looked at me as a, as a friend, a sister and a mother, because I'm always able to come to their level and deal with them at their level. And she has been a very good experience for me. Any other? Yes? He healed the man with the leprosy. His name was when he was asked. Sometimes, as a head teacher, I face challenges whereby a child is in school and this child is disturbed because where they are coming from is not, uh, maybe they are coming from dysfunctional families. And at, at times, I'm expected 
to take the duty of a counselor. I try to counsel them, I try to talk to them, and this has always borne a lot of fruit. Elisha is the Shunammite woman's son. Yes, so that is very important to know that Elisha performed two miracles in Shunem or to the Shunammite woman. One, bringing back to life the Shunammite woman's son, okay? My philosophy has been that no, nobody is so poor that they have nothing to give and nobody is so rich that they have nothing to receive. Sister Vicky is an administrator at St. Anthony Hospital. most of her time in the fields giving tender care to the needy. The journey of selflessness, advocacy and servant leadership brings Sister Vicky closer into conversation with the deprived. At least, hata kama uko na mtoto mlemavu, hata kama we ni mgonjwa, uko na nini? People are poor and needy and sometimes they don't even have their basic needs let alone money to pay for their medical bills. So sometimes it is a frustration to see them suffering. You know, when people lack basic needs like food, water, and medicine, sometimes situations that they don't even have where to sleep, it is very demoralizing. But uh, I enjoy serving them with the help of donors. One of her trainer's journeys, Sister Vicky describes a place called Kabirira in Lower Subukia, a place where food and water is desperately short. People here rely entirely on well wishes. It is in these places where people rarely see rain, where children don't enjoy the luxurious water, and it is this kind of world that the little sisters have found a mission. This is where they have learned to live their lives. German, <laughs> The sisters have tasked me with leadership to serve in the hospital. But what I like most is that humble job of being down there with the people, of serving the, the poorest of the poor. That is where I get my strength, that is where I get my joy. Through MZF, Sister Vicky has something to give, not very much, but it gives them a reason to hope paving way for sustainable development. Service to humanity is service to God. So anytime I move out to serve people, I serve them with love, and I know I serve God through people. Even the toughest terrain is no hindrance to Sister Stella and Sister Vicky. For humans who have a big heart, helping can be a hobby, and when they come together, the results are wondrous. <laughs> Maria Mtakatifu Mama Mungu, 
Tuombe sisi wakosefu sasa na saa kufa kwetu amen. Salamu Maria umejaa neema bwana yu nawe. Umebarikiwa kuliko wanawake wote na Yesu msaa tumbalako amebarikiwa. Maria mtakatifu mama wa Mungu. Tuombe sisi wakosefu sasa na saa. Sista kuna maye sawati nilikuwa nimekuletea upoke. Okay. Yeah. Asante sana. Nashukuru. Yeah, yeah. Nashukuru yeah, yeah. sana. Learn more about Sister Vicky and Sister Stella through the MZF website that is mzf.org. Mission Central, striving for the dignity of humankind worldwide.